Hello YouTube and le welcome to lesson 6 of the uh, Premiere Pro tutorial series. Today what we're going to do is we are going to uh, look at the effects and transitions of the Premiere Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this, save a copy of this as lesson 6 of the series and then continue on from there. So what happens is that I have uh, many clips right here and as we saw last time, I can use my pen tool, pen tool to create a manual transition. So, but sometimes we don't actually have time for that. So we need a quick uh, settings for that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the effects section right here. And to access it, you can also go to windows and go to effects from here. So here you can actually see audio effects, audio transitions, video effects and video transitions. So I'm going to go over to uh, video effects or, and transition first. I'm going to transition right here and you can see that I got a lot of options right here. So I'm not going to show them one by one because uh, the using them is basically the same right here. So what I simply can do with video transitions is, add, is that I have to keep them on the center of each of the places. So if I were to go on to video transition, go to 3D motion, drag it, onto the side here, what happens is that it stays on the video layer. And once I play, you can see that there's a red uh, bar now. And if I play this, it might hang a bit. So I have to press enter and process it in order to play it smoothly. So once it processes it, I can play this smoothly. And you can see uh, that if your computer freezes, my computer has a graphics card, so it's not slowing down. But if your computer slows down, then you might have to press enter. So that's the effect that I want. So if I were to uh, keep it in center of uh, any video clips, I can put it at the right or left according to the area that I want. If I keep it at the center, you can see that the video actually uh, a video transition is actually applied pretty easily just like that. So I can go to pace wheel, add in the pace wheel effect, and I can also resize the time, uh, time length by just dragging on clicking and dragging on uh, to the effects just like this. So I can make it faster or slower depending on the speed I want. This is how you simply add in a video transition onto the video effect. Uh, so I can add in just like this and just like that. So same goes for the audio. So I'm going to go over to the audio as well. But before that, I want to cover up the video effects as well. So if I were to go to video effects, you can see that there are a lot of options here as well. And I can choose in any video effects. Uh, but before that, let us just uh, also look at the details of the transition itself. If I were to double click this, uh, or sorry, go to effect controls. You can see that I have more options for the transition right here. So I can go to this or this. Let's say, for example, I want an exact duration of the transition for about one second. So I just type in one here uh, and press enter. So it becomes a one second transition. And if I were to go into actual, so, so actual sources, it will actually show the sources for me. And I can also start the start point and end point for the transition just like this. So if I were to actually uh, change this, so the transition actually starts from this place right here. Same goes for this. So if I were to uh, start the transition from here and let it end here, what did that actually happen is it does a, this type of a translation just like that. So I can choose the uh, end point and start point of the transition from the effect controls right here. All right, so anyways, let's move on to the effects. So even in the effects, so transitions are something I keep in front or in between the videos or at the end, but my video effect are something I keep on the video itself. So let's say I want to choose um, stylize and I want to choose mosaic as an effect. So just drag it onto the clip right here and you can see that the mosaic effect actually appears. But if you go into the effect controls, you can see that the mosaic actually appears over here. And if I want to remove the effect, effect, just click on the effect that I added and then delete it. And when I add in an effect, I can also disable it. Just click on the effects option and you can see that I can toggle on and off my effect just like that. So with each effect comes uh, my blocks and vertical blo my uh, effects. So if I were to increase my vertical blocks, just click and drag the numbers or type in the numbers directly. And you can see that I can change the level of my effect right here. So let's see what this is. This is a create uh, ellipse mask. So you can see that very much you are using blurring of the faces. So I can mask like 
this uh, my Premiere as well. So with the mosaic tool. So similarly, I can use other tools and they come with their own effects. So you can go, uh, so this has a level effect. So if I were to increase the level, you can see that scenes is here at the side. And then let's go to solarize and you can see that uh, this has its own effect just like that. So this is how you actually add an effect. You can even add in multiple effects. You cannot add in multiple transitions, but you can add in multiple uh, effects just like that. So I can texturize, increase the texture and so forth. So this is how you add in transition onto the effect just like that. So then, uh, if, so I can go to effects. Uh, um, so you can actually see that it is much more easier to add in effects just like that. So now, again, sometimes when I drag in the transition, I want the length to be at a default level. So what I can do is I can go to edit, go to preferences, uh, and then go on to uh, general right here. And you can see the video transition default duration is 30 frames. Uh, and audio transition is one second so let's say i want 0 0.5 second as a default and uh, 15 frames uh, as a default for video transition i can simply set them on like that and press ok and when i drag the transitions uh, it actually comes up just like that so i can go on to um, my uh, uh, okay uh, effects go on to audio effects sorry video effects and then sorry video transition flip over drag in and this default duration of the uh, clip actually changes so it's actually 15 seconds which is about half a second and i can also do that same with my audio as well and if i were to drag my audio transitions there's only a few over here and if i were to drag it you can see that it is exactly 0 0.5 seconds so these are the uh, are equal durations so let me just show that to you in audio as well so let me open up my audio soundtrack believe it uh let's go to in and out point and then drag the audio right here and then go to uh, drag this here as well. And there you go. So that's the audio, just like that. And I can go to effects, uh, drag, in the con uh, drag in the constant gain right here. I have my audio transition. So you can see that there is a subtle change without me having to use the pen tool. So now this is a fade effect which I can add in. So if I were to use exponential fade, uh, it just replaces it. So exponential fade actually uh, decreases the volume and then increases the volume. Constant power actually keeps it uh, high. So let's say uh, what exponential fade actually does is it decreases the volume and increases the volume. But constant power actually increases the volume and decreases the volume. While constant gain keeps it as an, uh, at an equal level. So these are the only transitions for the audio right here. Uh, unlike the video where there are a lot of transitions. So uh, similarly, audio has effects onto it. So if you go to audio effects, uh, you can change the, um, all right, you can change the reverb right here, just like this. You can see, uh, you can hear some reverb just like that. So let me go to if, uh, effect controls right here and I can increase and decrease the level of reverb just like that. So I can increase uh, the size of reverb. So I can disable the effect or enable the audio effect just like that. And I can also add in multiple effects just like I did in the video itself. So this is actually how you add in the audio and video effects onto the timeline uh, um, from the effects panel just like that. So as you can see, it is very easy to do so and Premiere has a lot of effects and you might not be able to see these effects right here. If you were to go to video effects, you might see that I have a magic one, the uh, Snow Light Factories and I got these, uh, I got these uh, nulls and everything. You might not have this because these are extra plugins from Red Giant. So we're going to go over to that lesson in future as well. So. I also want to show you at the end, so there are some presets provided by Premiere Pro in version 2015. So if I have Planet Hollywood, so if I were to go on to effects, go to Limetric presets, 
I have some color correction presets right here. So if I were to drag this on over here, it actually changes the color corrects my video just like that. So these are the default and it actually uses these plugins right here. So these are presets. What, what it means is that it actually uses the video effects and some preset parameters have been provided for it so that I don't have to uh, correct, uh, do it myself. So I can give it a cinematic look just like this or I can use a Cinespace look just like this. So I can go to film stocks. So these are the looks uh, that are available for me. So if I want to make it look like an old video, I can just do this. And there you go, you can see that the changes are there. So these are the things So um, which is possible through your uh, Premiere Pro effects. So as always, hope you guys learned something and please like, comment, share and subscribe.